back once again like a renegade master, it's me, Chris, with my review of the latest episode of My Hero Academia entitled A Quiet Beginning. But what did you think about this particular episode of My Hero Academia? Let me know in the comment section down below and you'll get read out in next week's show. Woo! And while you're there, be sure to do all this youtube stuff that YouTube wants you to do because YouTube is increasing the scary place of small content creators these days. Support your local small content creator today, you will do them a power of good. Now, on to the review. So here we are with the first episode of a brand new series after almost an entire year since the last one, which has given me plenty of time to get major plot points spoilt for me by scummy YouTubers. Woo! Now, thankfully, dear listener, you're not going to get that stuff spoilt for you. I'm not going to go into that kind of stuff because... It kind of annoys me and slightly depresses me that every single TV show that I like ends up getting spoiled for me at some point or another. But whatever, so we'll dive into this week's episode. And this week's episode is, well, we really are just going straight into it, aren't we? You know, in the past, we usually have like an opening filler episode. Just something to get us back into the swing of things. Like there was an episode a couple seasons back where you had the whole thing with the, the journalist. And you thought that was going to become a bigger thing than it was. But then we found out, oh, it's just filler. It's not really canon. And then last season you had the whole little saving thing with the uh, with the big three. And our heroes doing stuff with them. And this year we don't have that. We're just going right into the action. And, well, it... It certainly was something. Now, let us start off with the positives, as I now do when it comes to my reviews, and just say that, first off, I think this episode was just brilliantly paced. It was almost perfect as far as pacing itself is concerned. It had a lot of ground to cover. It had a lot of plot elements that needed to be explained, a lot of exposition that needed to be delivered. But at no point did it ever feel as though this exposition was too drawn out or it was rushing through everything. We got told everything that we needed to do in a nice, complete and competent way. Nothing was overrunning, nothing ran too short, which, yes, I mean, on the grand scheme of things, is not the most impressive thing for certain audiences, but for a writer like myself, I have to appreciate it. Of course, on a more crowd-pleasing level, the animation was frankly fantastic. I There's really no other words for it. It was at times like watching a film, especially when it came to some of the action stuff. It truly just sets the bar almost impossibly high for certain other programs to do. This is just a rant, and any other given fight sequence, any other given episode, it has fight sequences within it which are just blow most of the programs I've watched recently way out the water, but that's a discussion for a whole of a time. And more crucially, I feel that it built its drama well. All the stuff with our characters, all the superhero stuff, had a great sense of weight to it. I suppose that with a lot of people starting to feel superhero fatigue, there starts to become a point where a lot of this superhero nonsense just feels like nonsense and noise, and it doesn't really feel all that weighty, it doesn't really feel all that impactful. But here it did. Here it really did, and... By the end of the episode, I was just, I was just blown away by it. just the sheer scale and breadth of everything, without ever feeling too po-faced or full of itself. If we are going to get into the negative, so it's, I feel it's fair, you know, balance and all that. There is a part of me that can't help but feel that going straight back into the action like this might have been something of a hindrance. It feels like this massive snap back to reality, whereas in previous seasons, yes, I know some people weren't terribly keen on them, but we had that small little episode which was there to freshen the palette and get us back on board with and give us a reminder as to who these characters are and their personalities and such. Here we don't get that. I understand why that is the case. This is a direct adaptation of a manga, and as such, when this issue of the manga came out, it didn't come after a 12-month break. It was likely the next week or next fortnight after, and so everything was a lot fresher. And for people that have binge-watched My Hero Academia for the past week or two to get back into the feel of it, probably isn't as big of a problem for them, but for someone like me who hasn't really touched the show in any great regard since the movie came out, it feels odd to just go back from, ah, My Hero Academia, this fun little show, to serious, big-time, important things like this. Again, I think the episode is fantastic, but there is a part of me that kind of thinks maybe an episode where they were just standing in a field having fun might have been something that could get me back into it. But again, I understand why they did this. It's just kind of a small hit, uh, thing from me. Maybe I should have just watched a few OVAs or something before this came through. Maybe, but again, we did get into this rather quickly, and it's a lot of things to tackle. Whilst it was done well in terms of the pacing and the gravity of it, it is a case of, oh, My Hero Academia, I know that show, it has some fun action stuff, and they're there, and they're into 
just very serious, dry stuff. And speaking of the tone, I feel at certain points in the episode it was a little bit too dry. One of the things I've enjoyed about My Hero Academia is the way that it's able to balance its comedy and its drama, oftentimes in a rather well-paced way. This time it doesn't really feel like that. I understand that we're now starting to get into a period of the show and the whole story where things are going to get a lot more serious, a lot more focused, and it's going to be a little bit less of the superhero slapping thighs, fun, happy times. I understand that, and as such, humour is going to be a little bit rarer to come by. But again, I, going back to my previous point, I feel that going into all of this so dry and so seriously does make the thing feel a little bit too, again, dry. It makes it feel a little bit too serious. And whilst there are moments of comedy within it, I don't think those moments of comedy really work given how important and serious everything else is. They just kind of feel odd given the tone of everything else. And at that point, I can't help but feel to myself, and I understand this might undermine my point a little bit, I can't help but feel that maybe there should have been no jokes in the episode whatsoever and just focused on the drama, because as dry as that would have been, it at least would have been tonally consistent. The two jokes that we have in the episode, whilst fine for what they are, they're just a little bit too disarming, especially given the seriousness of everything else that's happening. So either you have more jokes and then make everything feel a lot more level, make everything feel a little bit more paced out as far as the tone is concerned, or you just don't do it at all. Trying to do both just doesn't really work for me. My only other major complaint with the episode, and this is going to sound like an odd one, but the problem that I had with the episode is that it ended. Like, I know that that's the point. This is a, a TV show that goes on for about 25 minutes, but I was just so enraptured and I was just so enthralled by the episodes that the moment the episode ended, I booed because I was just enjoying it so much. I love everything, every single aspect of this episode. I love the animation. I love the tone of it. I know I have some issues with it sometimes feeling a bit too dry, but I get it. I enjoy the drama of it. I enjoy the story of it. There is a lot to love. I think that maybe Midori is a little bit too sidelined in this opening episode, as is most of our Class 1A cast, but again, I get it because this is where we are in the story, and their presentation and their position in the show will become a lot more fulfilled as we go forward, but again, here and now, as much as he is sidelined, it, it's still a bloody good episode. And it's a hell of a way to open a series. Again, I'm going to end up going back and forth as to whether or not they should have started this with a softer episode to get us back into the feel of it. But as far as opening episodes to a new season go, this is a good one. And I think that for a lot of people, this is what they needed. Let's be honest, last season wasn't quite as well received for some audiences as others. I've seen some rather catty YouTube review videos of the last season, which really didn't like some and aspects of it, particularly the joint training stuff, but maybe this is the uh, the uh, show creators weighing tipping a hat, tipping in, into their cap for those people just go straight into the action, go straight into it. But regardless, it's a damn good episode, and I think that I, I just don't have words for it. It's been really hard writing this review because it is just that good. But what did you think, dear listener? What did you think about this week's episode of Minecraft Academia? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know in the, in the comment sections down below, and I'll get back to you shortly. Whilst you're there, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and do all the YouTube stuff that YouTube wants you to do. Click the bell and all that kind of malarkey, because YouTube's an increasingly scary place for content creators. Sorry if I sound a little bit out of sorts. I had COVID the other week, and it's still kind of affecting my throat. Don't really have a subscriber goal, but it would be great to hit 70 subscribers by the end of the year. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye! Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, favourite, subscribe, click the bell, and do all the youtube stuff that YouTube wants you to do. Go on, it'll do me a power of good. Until next time, my friends, goodbye!